This is a busy basketball week and a busy surgery week because of it. Plus, we have a great team taking your calls on health care enrollment today. Medical reporter Liz Bonus joins us now live with more on both of these in today's Health Alert. Liz. And good afternoon again, Kit. We are here with our team. Reminder, we're here the entire hour till 5 p.m. Taking your calls, 513-763-5405. If the lines are busy, please call back. But we also want to bring you some of the latest health headlines. And, of course, one today has a lot to do with what you say, March Madness and surgery. Once again, March Madness taking place on the basketball court and in urology offices around the country. Experts at the Cleveland Clinic say it is one of the top weeks that men choose to get a vasectomy. The reason, of course, is that you have to sit around with your feet up after the procedure, which is a perfect excuse to watch March Madness. Only about 24 hours of recovery time is actually needed, but that's enough to get the games in you likely want to see if you time the surgery just right. As you likely know, vasectomy interrupts the tubing that carries the sperm. There are several techniques for this now, including those that do not require an incision. No matter which type you choose, however, ice and rest are suggested following the procedure. So urologists say they get surges in this surgery this time of year, much like they say they often get them around the Super Bowl as well. Oh, what a great excuse to sit around and watch basketball, right? Well, we are here, as we mentioned, all through the hour, taking your calls and questions. Please call back if the lines are busy, and we'll be back in our next half hour sharing some more health information. Got a great story about a young girl. Her weight is now above 200 pounds, and doctors at Children's Hospital are about to perform surgery. We're going to tell you about that on Local 12 News at 430. Kit, back to you.